Off the top this evening at 6, a local man is taking action to try to prove that he is Dewan Sims. And tonight, police tell us they're taking that claim seriously. Dewan Sims is a little boy who went missing 25 years ago yesterday, December 11th, 1994. His mother told police she lost him in a crowd of people at Wonderland Mall in Livonia. He was four at the time. He would be 29 years old today. Local 4's Larry Spurl is live tonight with this new claim and how police are handling it, Larry. Well, Kimberly and Devin, I talked with Livonia police tonight and they tell me a man did walk inside the police station claiming to be Lawan Sims. They also said he gave them his DNA to see if he's that missing person. Well, I think we're always shocked, absolutely. Captain Ron Tag with Livonia police has been on this case from the beginning when Dewan Sims went missing back in 1994. A local man we are not identifying claims he's that little boy. He came in a couple days ago. It all started December 11th, 1994, inside the Wonderland Mall in Livonia. Dewan's mother, Dewana Jackson, told the police the then four-year-old boy simply disappeared. Captain Tag was assigned to the case and has always had his doubts about that theory. I was here at the department and um, we looked at all the videos, we checked everything, and we never saw Dewan with Mrs. Sims. Now, more than two decades later, a man walked into the police station saying he might be Sims. Police say they first heard about it after the man posted his belief about his identity on Facebook and concerns about what his parents told him about his childhood. But at the police station, he asked police to keep this a secret. And I guess what's odd is that he uh, claimed that he didn't want any of this information out in the media. And from what I understand, he has put this out on social media. Police took his DNA and are working to learn if he's a match to Dewan's family. Sources tell us this would be standard procedure in any high profile case. We were going to reach out, obviously, to uh, to the family and provide uh, his information and see if they wanted to contact him. In North Carolina. And sources tell us that that man claiming to be Sims did reach out to the mother on Facebook, but she did block him. Meanwhile, police tell us that they are taking this case seriously as they would with every high profile case. We're live tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. And, and so, Larry, what now? Well, Devin, they are still waiting for the results of that DNA case and the DNA results, excuse me, and police tell me that they will reach out to the mother to see if she wants to contact the young man. Devin? All right, Larry.